Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. Today I am sharing a what's for dinner video with you guys. This only has a few dinners in it. It's a few new ones that I have made in the last week or so. I have not been cooking full dinners every single night. I just have had like absolutely flat zero motivation to do that. It has just been a crazy week and I just haven't had the motivation to do it. So I don't have a full week of dinners for you guys, but I do have a few dinners that are new and really easy and turned out absolutely delicious. And I will have a few really good ones next week also. So if you aren't subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of those. But let's go ahead and jump into the dinners. All right, guys, so tonight I'm making a veggie casserole. I'm not sure if I've shown this on my channel before or not. I got this original recipe years ago, so I've kind of like transformed it into my own thing anyways, and I can't find the original recipe anyhow, or else I would link it down below. If I do end up finding it by the time I post this, I will link it down below, and it has a few different things in it, but this is kind of my take on it now, and I make a ton of this because it makes absolutely awesome leftovers. The only thing that I don't have pictured here that I also will be using is feta cheese. My husband will be bringing some of that home and I'll throw it on the top when I throw it in the oven. So here I have some squash and zucchini cut up. I had a few of each and I cut all of it up so it's quite a bit here just so I could use it up and like I said to make a ton of leftovers. Then I have some peppers here that I prepped up the other day, some onions. I'm going to add a little bit of sun-dried tomatoes as well as tomato pesto, garlic, and then I'm going to saute all the veggies up in this organic coconut oil. It's with non-dairy butter flavor. I get this at Walmart and it is really good. So I'm going to saute these up first and then I'm going to add them in a casserole dish and throw them in the oven, top it with some feta cheese, and then I will show you when I put it all together. All right, guys, so to start the veggie casserole, I put some of this coconut oil in a deep skillet here and I put the onions and peppers in first and I'm just going to start to soften them down a little bit and then I'll throw in the squash and the zucchini. Remember that this is also going to into the oven and you don't want it to be mushy so I just kind of par cook all the vegetables, mix everything together and then throw it in the oven so it all can kind of marry together, melt the cheese on top and it is absolutely delicious. Okay so I'm starting to saute up the zucchini and squash. I put my onions and peppers here and I just par cook them and I'm cooking these in batches. I have two batches because I have so much and I don't want them to get all soggy. I want it just to crisp up, crisp up really nice and then I will mix everything together and throw it in the baking dish. I am also adding this complete seasoning to each of these veggies as I cook them. Those look absolutely gorgeous and they smell phenomenal. So I am doing this last batch and then I'm going to add probably about two or three tablespoons of these sun-dried tomatoes and then two tablespoons of this pesto and then I'll kind of see how it looks and then a little bit of this garlic and mix it all together. All right guys, so I mixed all of it together and I added about two tablespoons of that pesto and two tablespoons of those sun-dried tomatoes and a little bit of garlic and mixed it all together, put it in this casserole dish here and then my husband's on his way home with some feta cheese and I'm just gonna throw it on top and then throw it in the oven at 350 for about 20 minutes or so just so it kind of all marries together and the cheese gets crispy on top. And then it will be ready and I'm making some chicken breasts. I'm just sauteing them in a pan right now. And that's what we will have, which you could actually just have this by itself. We've done that before too, but I'm making some chicken with it tonight. And I'll show you when we plate everything up. Alright guys, so here is dinner all plated up. This veggie casserole has turned out absolutely amazing. I've already tasted it. And then I just made some chicken tenderloins on the side. And we have a ton of this leftover. And it will be super good tomorrow also. All right, guys. So here is what we are doing for dinner tonight. I think I might have shown this on my channel before, but I'm not sure. And I'm doing it a little bit different tonight. So I am going to be making sausage and rice. And I like to mix these two. I get this Cajun style andouille sausage and then this beef smoked sausage. And I mix them together because that's like the perfect spiciness that my family and I like. So sorry if you hear the washer in the background and that's kind of loud, hopefully not. But anyways, so I'm going to cut this up into bite-sized pieces. That's how I saute it. And then I've cut up two small onions that I had here. And then I am also this time going to be adding some of this shrimp. Now I have been allergic to shrimp since I was pregnant with my middle child 15, almost 16 years ago. But apparently I have changed and I've had a couple in the last couple weeks and it didn't affect me at all. So I'm like kind of nervous. I probably should take some kind of an allergy test for it. But 
I am just going to have a couple out of it. But anyways, that's a whole nother story. So I am going to be adding that in. And then I'm going to be making regular rice for my family on the side. And then cauliflower fried rice for myself. And I will show you once I put all this together. Okay, so I have my onions in this pan with a couple tablespoons of this coconut oil with non-dairy butter flavor that I get from Walmart. And then I have my sausage here cut up in bite-sized pieces. And then once these just, once the onions cook down just a little bit, I'm going to add my sausage. And then once that cooks a little bit, then I'm going to add the shrimp. The shrimp won't take long. So once I add those in there, it'll just be a few minutes. And then I will add for seasoning. I'll use this complete seasoning, which I use all the time. I absolutely love. Then I also will be adding some of this fresh bay seasoning that I got from Fresh Jack's, which they are absolutely amazing. And then I will also add a little garlic in there. All right, guys, so I completely forgot to film when I was plating up my dinner, but here's what is left over. I have some cauliflower rice in the bottom and then the sausage and shrimp mixture right on top. And this was actually my husband's plate. This is what he had left over. This is what the family did. They just mixed it with yellow. All right, guys, so here is what we are doing for dinner tonight. I have this pack of boneless, skinless chicken thighs, and I am going to saute them in my pan and brown them up, and then I am going to add some of this tomato pesto sauce on top and then I think I might even add a little mozzarella cheese and then just let it simmer for a little bit I'm not sure I've never done this before so hopefully it turns out good I will definitely let you guys know and I'm just going to saute it in a little bit of avocado oil and then of course my favorite complete seasoning and then I'm going to make some cauliflower mash and broccoli on the side so I will show you when I put this all, all together. right guys so I just figured I'd show you as I cook along here so I have seasoned just the top of these and I'm going to put the top of these down to brown the top first. And I have just a tablespoon or two of olive oil already down in the pan. I just wanna get a nice little crisp and color on these. And then I'll top them with that sauce, throw some cheese on them, cover it up with the lid, and then just let it simmer for a little bit. top when I get a nice brown crispiness on them I'll flip them over and and then show you the next step all right so they're nice and crispy like I want them so I'm gonna turn the heat down add this tomato pesto this is what it looks like it smells delicious and there is one carb per serving in this and there's about six servings so this whole jar is six carbs and I've already used a little bit out of it for another dinner so it's probably about five carbs left in it for the whole thing so that's super awesome then I shredded up some mozzarella cheese here and I'll just put that on the top once it's done and I'll I seriously cannot even tell you how delicious this smells already I just put a little bit on each one and now I'm just going to cover it with the lid I turned it down to low and so I'll just let it simmer in there for a few minutes and then I'll add the cheese and let it simmer a few minutes more just till the cheese is nice and melty and then I'll show you when I plate everything all right I know I've shown this before on my channel but I'm going to go ahead and just tell you guys again because I get questions about it a lot I've already cooked the cauliflower here I just have it in this measuring bowl and I'm going to add bacon bits to it a little bit of this complete seasoning parsley sour cream and then I've already added a few tablespoons tablespoons of the Kerrygold butter. Sometimes I add cheese, sometimes I add different stuff, just this is what I'm having tonight. There's cheese already on the chicken, so I'm not going to add it in here. But I put all this together and then just take the immersion blender and blend it right up. All right guys, so here is dinner all plated up. I haven't tasted it yet, but it looks and smells delicious. Like I said, I just kind of threw this stuff together, so I will let you know how it turned out. Here I just have some steamed broccoli to pair with it and some cauliflower mash, which you already saw how I put that together. And I am starving because this is my first meal today, so I will let you guys know how it is, but it looks delicious. All right, guys, so that will do it for this week of What's for Dinners. I hope you guys got some new ideas from the meals that I made this week. I hope you try them out and you love them. If you do, let me know down in the comments below. Or if you're over on Instagram, make sure to tag me. I would love to see you guys recreate this. Or if you come up with a different version or whatever, I would love to see it. If you aren't following me over on Instagram, make sure to check me out over there because I have different snacks and meals and workouts. Well, as many workouts as I can be doing right now. Um, I get my MRI for my arm on Tuesday, so... 
I'm excited for that and praying for a good result. So hopefully I can get back to working out like my normal schedule. But anyways, if you aren't following me over on there, I'll link it on the screen here and I always have it linked down below. And I would love for you guys to follow and interact and comment and all of that over there. I love chatting with you guys. If you are new here, I would love it if you'd hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and all that good stuff so that YouTube will notify you every time I upload a new video. If you guys enjoy videos like this, make sure to give it a thumbs up. That definitely helps me out and I appreciate you guys doing that and watching and commenting. So thank you again so very much for watching and I will catch y'all in the next one.